301 Red Craney Road, Boma, Florida. One thing I think needs to be in the forefront of any discussion of wildlife mitigation regarding phosphate mining is this. The phosphate mining industry is the cause of the obliteration of the wildlife, the plant life, soils, hydrology of what was originally existing. The environment was dug, tumbled, processed, and spit back out in various locations. Then it's left to the mitigation crew to make something of what's left for displaced wildlife. Thinking of the big picture, we are not talking hundreds of acres here, we are not thousands of acres, we're talking about hundreds of thousands of acres that bear this mining footprint here in Central Florida. Of the 532 odd thousand acres of mined land, according to the FDEP website, 115 odd thousand have been reclaimed and released. I would like to ask Mosaic what percentage of that reclaimed acreage is devoted to these projects we have been hearing about today. 10,000, 20,000 more? Have independent peer-reviewed studies been done in these areas scrutinizing the plant life regeneration, which is just as important as the wildlife it will sustain? Are the areas showing diversity of species in the plants, animals, insects, and invertebrate populations? How does this diversity compare with the pre-mining diversity in number and health? Are they viable and self-sustaining? For how many years? Have studies been done on the cumulative effects of residual reagent or radiation contamination of reclaimed and released lands? This would affect any living thing on these properties. Has a cumulative analysis been conducted to quantify amount, number of important Florida native species which have been or will be eliminated as a result of past, present, and proposed future phosphate strip mines? My husband and I had a native plant nursery for many years and we're very familiar on how difficult it is to even put a nursery grown native plant back into its original environment, much less uh, a pseudo environment that would be created. Are there documented numbers of species that are in these proposed mine areas and what percentage would be considered minimal loss and what would that be in numbers? In regards to gopher tortoises, what about the 300 plus species that use their burrows? Thank you for your time. Thank you very much.